here with Oklahoma baseball coach Sonny Galloway on the eve of the Big 12 tournament. Sonny had a couple of players honored here today, uh, JT Wise, Garrett Bichelle. Talk about those young men and, and the nice honors they got in the Big 12. Well, John, we're really proud of uh, our student athletes. You know, for JT Wise to be named our player of the year, uh, I think more than anything takes a lot of pressure off my coaching staff because we have Sam Bradford, we have Big Griff, we have Courtney Paris, we have Amber Flores, we have every player of the year at the University of Oklahoma in every sport, it seems like. So now we have it in baseball, and we're extremely proud of JT. And I think him being in our program as an undrafted junior and then being named player of the year speaks for his work and the development within our program. I think Garrett Bouchelle being named freshman of the year speaks of our ability to recruit and develop and our future. I think uh, Jamie Johnson getting first team, uh, all Big 12 as our center fielder. Bryant Hernandez getting all Big 12 as an infielder as our shortstop. I think those things speak volume. We haven't had a first teamer in quite some time. Now we have three, and we also have the newcomer of the year. And uh, I think it says a lot for the coaching staff that uh, I'm blessed to coach with. Those guys work hard, they get good players, and they develop them. Sonny, you guys arrived here really playing well. You're coming off a sweep of Texas A&M. Just talk about kind of the feel with the team right now. Well, I think our guys are playing confident right now, John, and I, I think that's important. You know, you always talk about the hot team and, and playing well at the right time, and uh, timing is everything in life, and, and our guys are playing very consistent. I thought uh, against Oklahoma State in Bedlam, we played well. I thought we just ran into a really good pitcher in, in Blanford in game three, and sometimes you tip your cap and move on. We did that, but I told them we played well this weekend, even after losing Sunday, and we played really well last week at home. We've thrown the ball really well. Uh, JT's done a good job of handling our pitchers, and we're healthy and strong, so we're looking forward. You add the excitement of postseason, it should be uh, that extra boost that we need to uh, help us kind of step up from here. Sometimes we get to this point, Sonny, and, and we ask the question, what does the team have to gain in the Big 12 tournament? What do you feel like you guys need to do, want to do here? Well, I think potentially we could become a national seed. Uh, I'm not on the committee and I'm not going to lobby, but I think we've earned the right to host. And uh, I think if we can get to Sunday's championship game when the committee sits down and they look and they see an eighth-ranked Oklahoma that uh, has probably earned its way to hosting they could possibly be, be a national seed and i think the other side of that is we we lost our regular season title by half a game that means one more win for us at any point during our 10 losses 17 to 10 or texas losing one of 17 wins as they finished 17 and 9 would have made a difference to be big 12 champs our student athletes are around a lot of big 12 champs on our campus they want to be big 12 champs Maybe it's a little more incentive for our student athletes to go harder this weekend, not worry about the regionals and the NCAA yet. Let's take care of today. All right, Sonny Galloway, coach of the Oklahoma Sooners. Big 12 tournament, stick with newsok.com and in the paper always for coverage of the tournament.